This is your person backtracking. They may try to come around for a reconciliation, don't shoot the messenger, but you can see they're working hard and building and harnessing their craft. And for some, I think this is them trying to manifest you back into their life. Because this appeared over the moon, this can have to do with that past indiscretion or infidelity or just tower moment. But those truths came to light and now this person has to step back in order to see the clear picture. This can also be people doing some type of love spell or magic with the moon card, and they could be trying to manifest you with this magic. Welcome my beautiful Capricorn to your Halloween, All Hallows Eve, love tarot and everything in between reading. All I ask of you, beautiful Capricorn, is just to begin to get clear with the universe about the messages or clarity that you're wishing to receive in today's love reading. So as I'm shuffling the deck, please remember that you can always check the pinned comments and skip ahead to when the tarot reading is, when we dive into your person's energy, as well as when the lover's oracle messages at the very end. But if you wanna put your energy into this collective reading, stick around as we shuffle. And maybe you even take it as far as to say your person's name aloud or write it down on a piece of paper. And of course, it would not be right to not first that heart chakra frequency to commence your love tarot reading. Spirit, please show my lovely earth signs, my sea goats, what it is that they need to see in regards to spiritual guidance, love, and career. All right, we're also gonna take one from the top, one from the bottom. I knew that moon energy was going to come out because it was at the bottom of the deck every time I kept shuffling and sure enough, it appeared. Okay, mm -mm -mm. so we're gonna start by diving into your energy and the energies that surround you. Then we'll use the Mystic Mondays deck to dive into your person's energy. Please do remember that this is a general love reading, so I do not expect all of the messages to resonate with every Capricorn out there. If you want a reading that's specific to you, you can find all of the info down in the description box to book your girl, okay? So without further ado, first in your energy, the Nine of Wands. This is fire energy. This is also powerful manifestation here with the wands. So some of my Capricorns could be dealing with a fire sign. You could also be heavily trying to manifest your dream life at this time. For some of you, this is requiring you to step outside of your comfort zone and potentially step into a position of power here. Because although this is divine energy with the three, 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 accumulating to the nine of wands. I also take note that with this nine, there is one that stands out amongst the crowd. This requires a leadership role here. So for some of you, if you've been working really hard towards a dream relationship or a goal, know that you're going to need to step into your power and take the reins and lead a little bit more than maybe what you're comfortable with or what you've done in the past in order to manifest. Next in your energy, we do have some earth here with the pentacles. This is getting your finances in order. This can be community with the number three. Once again, the number three may be very pertinent. Three, 33, 333, three, three. seeing these repeated numbers on receipts on the clock, know that these are your spirit guides and your ancestors communicating with you. 
For others, this can be a message that you're going to come into a beautiful partnership in regards to finance. This can be someone coming into your life who's going to help balance the scales and that could be Libra energy that I'm picking up on, but this is heavy earth sign, someone who is grounded and knows who they are. Some of you may be dressing up this Halloween and All Hallows Eve, this is when the veil is the thinnest, okay, between the spirit realm and our physical realm. So creating an altar or an offer to a passed on loved one who you're looking for communication from, now is a powerful time for that. It's not dark magic, it's none of that. It's honoring those who come before you, who gave you life, essentially. Some of you, I'm getting a TT, a CC. Others of you are dressing up for Halloween 70s. I'm getting afros and afros, they really have no time frame. That's how hair grows from our head. But I'm getting that some of you may be rocking an afro for your Halloween costume. Next in your energy, this is Pisces and Cancer with the moon. So you may be dealing with a water sign or you may have strong water in your charts. Capricorn, of course you do, you're the sea goat, okay? Land and water. But with the moon, this can be tr new truths being illuminated. Things done in the dark coming to light. Things are going to be coming to the surface. Now for some, this can be that you will be finding out how someone really feels about you maybe they haven't told you how they feel but they're really into you for others i am getting that this is a karmic relationship and what was done in the dark is going to come to light i'm not getting quite what maybe that will come out when we clarify with your person's energy but it doesn't feel good capricorn next though we do have the two of cups more water energy here this is going to be an offer. This could potentially be two people being interested in you, okay? Either your partner could be interested in someone else or you're interested in someone else. But the two of cups also signifies twin flame, karmic relationship, energy, soulmate energy. And next then in your energy, we have the tower. This is Sagittarius energy fire energy here we have a lot of fire and water and what a combination so with this tower moment some of you are going to be ending a very long tumultuous potentially toxic relationship here and these truths coming to light here with the moon energy may be what propels forward this tower moment and it's definitely a karmic relationship a soul contract that you signed before you entered this physical realm and what you're going through as uncomfortable as it may be capricorn it's all for your greatest and highest good any blockings are actually blessings when it comes to this person so let's go ahead and dive into your person's energy because i'm very curious what is going on here with them See if we can't clarify let's see bottom of the deck the world this matches that tower energy this is this is death and new beginnings a rebirth okay so after this tower moment you're going to be finding yourself all over again let's go ahead and put that down in your energy and we're going to shuffle to see what comes out for your person spirit please show my capricorns what it is that they need to see in regards to their person how does their person feel about them we had two fly outs let's take one more from the top one more from the bottom wow repeat message no such thing as coincidence the two of cups has appeared in your energy as well as your person so it is without a doubt capricorn a karmic soul contract relationship. This is a soulmate or a twin flame that you're dealing with here. 
And a lot of times when we think of soulmate or twin flame, we think of the boat never being rocked, this highly romanticized, beautiful relationship, when in fact that fire can burn hot and bright and then also fizzle out just as quickly and end just as disastrously or as passionately as it began, it can end. Definite karmic relationship, this person who's on your mind, this person you're dealing with, you've been together in lives before. You have been married to this person, potentially had children with this person in other lives. You're no stranger to this person and that's why it feels so hard to sever or cut the ties when you know this relationship may not be serving your greatest and highest good. For some of you, there are children involved. You may have a three-year-old, a nine-year-old. Some of you have an adult, you know, an 18-year-old. That's how long you've been with this person. Somebody watching is 39. Somebody else is 32 or 23. All right. Now, in your person's energy, they had the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups. So that's how they see you. They had water and pentacles, whereas you had water and fire. They see you as the Queen of Cups. Maybe they didn't always treat you like that because they thought they just had you in, your, in their back pocket. They just thought you'd always be around. I'm getting this could be high school sweethearts or childhood friends. This is someone who just thought they could not lose you, Capricorn. They saw you as this queen, as this divine feminine. Whether you're a man or a woman, it does not matter. They saw you as this divine feminine energy. And you see, she's got the, the fins here, the mermaid, so she can thrive on land and in the water. Very much Capricorn energy. Uh, your person also had the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles can be the player in the deck, okay? They're grounded and rooted financially, but they can be making quite a few offers. And maybe that was the issue you had with this person is if they weren't being physically unfaithful, they may send emails or texts or like a bunch of photos and comment under on social media and it just made you feel cringe. You wouldn't do that to them. So why is it okay for them to do that to you with this Knight of Pentacles here? For you, some of you, you're like, yeah, they, they made a lot of money, but they weren't treating me like that queen. Now with this Eight of Pentacles, this is your person backtracking. They may try to come around for a reconciliation. Don't shoot the messenger but you can see they're working hard and building and harnessing their craft. And for some, I think this is them trying to manifest you back into their life. Because this appeared over the moon, this can have to do with that past indiscretion or infidelity or just tower moment. But those truths came to light and now this person has to step back in order to see the clear picture. This can also be people doing some type of love spell or magic with the moon card and they could be trying to manifest you with this magic all right let's end with a message from the lovers oracle deck if you're resonating with this reading and you're enjoying it please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and turn on all the notifications so that you stay in the loop about every tarot reading you can feel free to check out your Venus, your moon, and your rising sign readings as well, as those sometimes may better resonate depending on um, where you're at in your spiritual journey. Spirit, please show my Capricorns what it is. Okay, that one flew out, landed right in my lap. Here's the depiction on the front. Oh my goodness, <laughs> on the back it reads, soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. I cannot make this up, Capricorn. Soulmate, you're dealing with a soulmate, karmic relationship, twin flame energy here. <sighs> I truly hope this reading resonated with you and until next time my lovely capricorns my beautiful sea goats i am sending you abundance in love guidance and pure joy namaste